opening face off just 10 seconds in out of basically a two on one opportunity there. Another shot from the Buckeyes. That's something that Wisconsin has struggled with quite a bit this year. Obviously still in the early goings, but four goals allowed for the Badgers in the first period and make it, was it number five right there? Sure enough, yes it was. Just like that, Riley Thompson puts the Buckeyes on the board. Unbelievable. Well, it wasn't quite 10 seconds in, but in fact, 21 seconds in that shot there from Thompson. I mean, just you look at it here, pretty harmless looking shot from the point, but a lot of bodies moving in front of Grant. May have caught Mosley on that one. Either way, Buckeyes heading the other way, a nice pass there. And they'll have to slow it down instead, turn it over, in fact, as Tassie leads the way. Now he loses the puck, and Ohio State will get right back to work. It's Palatichuk sending it aside, inside, knocked out of the air, and scoop up and in for the Buckeyes. Max Montez, another goal in this series, and it is a killer. That's just what the doctor ordered there for Ohio State, and boy, does Max Montez seem to save his best for his matchups against his home state right there, just taking advantage of a very fortuitous bounce. William Grandma had no idea where this buck was. It popped right up into the air, and look at him. He's not even looking at Max Montez off on the weak side, and that uh, gaping cage that he's just is able to toss it in on the backhand and double this Ohio State lead. And now it's Ohio State putting on a move with some room. Hong fans on the shot. You wonder if that broken stick on the ground may have disrupted him a little bit. Causing havoc. And here come the Badgers, an attack of their own. Morrissey, a nice move to find some room. Can't center it. Wow, Hong has been all over the ice here this evening. Another shot from the Badgers out in front and a goal. Badly needed goal. Compliments of Quinn Finley for the Badgers. Well, I mean, it, it finally was able, they were finally able to get a fortunate bounce of their own right there. This puck gets deflected out of the air and then just trickled through the legs of Christopher Eberle that time. And for the, fortunately for Wisconsin, it hasn't felt like they've had a guy right there usually, but this time you had Finley crashing in and he's able to find that puck loose in the blue paint. And there it is and just, that's about the easiest goal you're ever going to score if you're Quinn Finley. Don't even know if you could miss it from there. <laughs> and Wisconsin able to cut into this deficit thanks to their most dangerous offensive weapon so far this season. Ebersley has been fantastic today. That said, an error from...